Well, good morning and welcome to the third and final stream in this series of uh, recon streams that we're bringing back. And I think this is going to be the last one for probably until after DEF CON. And then after DEF CON, hopefully I could do more of these when I come back. As always, I'm going to get ahead of a couple of questions before you all ask. The video for these streams are going to be available a week after we stream. So if you want Sunday's stream, it'll be available on Sunday. If you want Mondays, it'll be available Mondays. Today's, next Tuesday, will be live for you to watch. If you are a member, I see a lot of you guys that have also subscribed recently. Shout out to our newest members. I'm going to put you both on the screen. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you are a member, you will have access immediately. So don't even sweat it. You can watch it uh, as soon as we are done with this. A uh, couple more questions. Uh, the data that you are going to see, I'm, I'm pulling it up on my end. The data that we have is going to be available for everybody to use for free. So if you want to use this uh, data, it is 100% free. You can use it on your own. It's on trekis.io. There were some issues with logins. We fixed them. Uh, you can use it for free as always. Uh, the last guest for today's stream, do you guys know who it is? Does my chat know who this next guest is that's going to come on? Let me know in the chat if you know who it is. I want to hear it. And then last but not least, as a favor, as I was going to ask this for you guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, I need your help. All you have to do is just, you don't have to even exit the YouTube chat that you're watching right now. Just click the like button under this uh, stream. Just give it a thumbs up. It will help us reach more of our audience on YouTube and see even, 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 I, oops, even iOS is telling you to give it a thumbs up. So give it a thumbs up. Let me see if I can get one more. Maybe one of these, maybe. Does this work? No, nope. all right, doesn't want to work. There we go. All right, give it a thumbs up uh, on the video. Um, it will help us a lot. All right, are we ready to bring our guest, our guest of honor? Actually, the person that I started doing a lot of the, the streams with, uh, the OG streams, what we call the the Hacker Couch. Uh, let's welcome Stoke. How's it going, yeah. my friend? <laughs> it's uh it's so good to be here it's been way too long um i'm honored to be a part of this uh revamp of the recon series so um you and i started doing this a long time ago but now but now we're back here and and it just feels good to be here again and uh long live the hockey and i'm gotcha. nervous so bear with me <laughs> For those of you that you've been under a rock for a while, or maybe you haven't been around, Stoke is a content creator and a bug bounty hunter, and he does some really cool... I'm going to let him do his own in intro because I know I'm butchering it, but to me, he's going to be an OG bug bounty hunter and security researcher. Uh, he's done some very amazing, very cool videos on YouTube uh, that you should go and watch. Yeah, I know you have some really cool stuff with Tom Nom Nom, you have some really cool stuff on your own, and you have some really cool stuff with... Uh, Fisher, that is still valid to this day. So go watch them. But if I butcher your intro, you gotta you gotta give us an elevator pitch of your intro really quickly before we jump into our stream. I don't need to. I, I got it right. I, I mean, okay, I think good. That's good enough. <laughs> I want to make sure I didn't butcher anything. And and wait, are you coming to DefCon this year? Right, people can, people can see you again this year, hopefully. Yes, I'm. I'm presenting together with uh, Jonah and. Um, Nice. Jonah, the creator of FFUF, and I are going to release a really cool and interesting bit flip type of squatting thingerish tool that more or less turns the, um, the internet upside down a bit. And we're going to present that at Black Hat. And uh, so we're doing that first. And then we're going to hang out at DEF CON and have a good time. And I'm also going to be particip participating in H1702 this year. I was going to uh, ask. Okay. I declined for a while, so it's going to be fun to be back. Cool. I'm excited to see you. I know last year was the first time we saw each other since the pandemic, and terrible. It was very, but we didn't. <laughs> but we didn't get to. I'm not thinking you're saying terrible because I know what you mean terrible, but I'm I'm taking it a different way. But um, we were both so beat with what was going on. I feel like that we didn't get to hang out so much. But this year, man, I'm looking forward to it. I. Uh... I deeply miss everyone in the in the bug mounted community and being a part of that. And I'm 
things have changed in my life recently and I'm okay. most likely going to move back into doing things that I used to do before, used to figure things out uh, because I know this and I'm good at sharing stuff and I like to hack stuff and I still hack stuff on a daily basis. So why not get back to the stuff that I, I used to enjoy before? So uh, I just gotta, we just got to make sure you don't get burnt out again, though. We got to make sure you don't no, burn no, no. out. With I'm content. very grateful for, for you yeah. getting me on here and, you know, being being able to set up like a super fast dude like this uh, is very useful, obviously. Sure. But I live currently I live in a camper van, so hey, it's a bit of a struggle. So, wait, is that a real background or is that a fake background? Is that one of those virtual this. backgrounds? Yeah. No, 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 okay, so it's real. I'm, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you know those Zoom backgrounds, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 I I don't do fake backgrounds. Okay, good. Doop. All right, let's. Uh, I wanna. So here's a there, here's a format for the stream. I know I, I don't Great. know if you watched the recent ones, but we. So I partner with Trickist, uh, and we scan like almost every bug bounty program that's on um, Hacker One and Bug Route. So like, uh, I think like Yahoo's in there, Cora's in there. I'm looking at the thing. Binance is on there, uh, Grinders on there, Tumblr's on there. Uh, I don't know. You name it. Stanford's on there. Every bug bounty program, just at a glance that I'm seeing, they're all on here. And we have a metric shit ton of data that we can go through. The purpose of the stream with what we have done so far is how do you find, <laughs> I love that you're doing this, it works. How do you find leads? So the thing that I focus a lot in my videos recently is lead generation for hackers. So how do you generate yeah. leads and things that look interesting to you? You can also flip the interview to me and ask me for like, how would you look for X? How would you look for like internal assets, mm -hmm. for example? So you can, the interview could turn into interviewer because at some point last night, Justin was like, Ben, how do you do this? And I'm like, uh, excuse me, this is my show. We're not on your podcast right now. And I'm like, I've turned the interview into interviewer. But that's also something that we encourage. As jokes aside, you know, I, I say that to Justin, but th th this is your show. You're welcome to, Put, lay, uh, you know, lean to me for questions and answers. I'll also ask you this stuff. I'm going to share my screen. So this way, if somebody gets doxxed, it's always going to be me. So I'm going to share my entire Chrome tab or entire window uh, of solutions with Trekist. And hopefully no one gets doxxed. And I'm going to put us down in the bottom right here. So this nice. is what the data looks like. Uh, yep. we, can, we can search by anything that's on this left-hand side. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. For the people that are watching this on their phones, we can search based on pretty much like the fav icon, anything that's in the headers, the host name, where mm. the URL that it ends at. So if it's redirects and redirects to something, where does it end at? Does that path, you know, end in something specific? We can look at it. Um, chain locations, like it gone from this to this. Like we can look at all of it pretty much. So the first question is Stoke, you go and say, I'm going to sit down to hack today. Well, you don't have a bug bounty program you want to hack on. What are some things that are like, ooh, I'm going to start looking at these. What is this thing I'm going to look at? Okay, so first, we need to decide. To, we need to, okay, we need to funnel things down. I mean, obviously, um, just going at this huge, huge data set is going to be overwhelming is looking at it. So uh, my approach would first be, um, since I'm not doing automation, I, I, or um, or not at the scale where where P4FG and and um, and N N Nagli and those other guys do. Yeah. G because it's never really been my thing. Because you spend yeah. just as much time finding new automation as you are uh, are you hacking. And I'm always been that kind of manual kind of deep dive and falling in love with the program kind of stuff. So going at data, um, huge sets of data is not something that I do on a daily basis, but. Uh, that doesn't mean that this intrigues me. So I would first uh, select a program that I know has a depth because I like something that I can spend a lot of time on. And that doesn't really usually mean for me getting shitloads of subdomains because getting subdomains, of course, then you're competing with people with faster loading times, bandwidth and everything that's involved in that. So I usually pick a target and then I fall in love with it. You know, I create one user, yeah. two users, multi-layer. I, I check for, for IDORs. I check for authentication issues. And if there's a way to upload something, hey, it's a big chance something's going to break eventually. So 
Um, that's the kind of stuff that I do. I love to spend time on a target. I like to monitor it for changes. I like to, just like you're rewatching a good series that you enjoy, you're getting back to it. You're like, oh shit, they changed they changed the guy that used to be that guy in this series. Like they did that on Pirates. Suddenly in season three, one of the guys is another guy. I'm like, what the fuck? He's named the same as another actor. I'm like, what, what do you do that for? Like you can't, you can't trick a dedicated person, right? So that's the kind of the same approach I do to hacking. You can see that, you know, old stuff coming back and forth. But if we're going to look at your data, um, my absolute favorite thing to do, no matter what it is, is to get this data set and then right. send shit loads of, uh, I would start, let's say that I crawled this. Okay. The first thing I would look for is 400 and 500 errors, because that means that something went wrong. That's, that's the kind of data that I'm interested in because the server couldn't handle it. Uh, is it because I sent the character wrong? Is it because it doesn't work? Uh, because that's an anomaly. Yeah. Our quest here is to figure out what makes it break and what makes it work. So um, I would do that. So can we sort for 400 errors? Oh, we can. So this is everything. Yeah. So everything above 400, greater than 400, including 400, 403, 405. 404, so okay, on. so 403 is good. That means that we are not allowed, right? It's yeah. uh, access denied. 429 rate limiting. So that might just be something that we need to look into. 404, we can just screw those unless there is uh, some data coming back into it. That, that, that's the whole thing with fussing, right? You yeah. want to throw away the data, but you need to do it like granularly uh, what i do when i'm doing fussing and i get a lot of 400 errors and so on, then i move quickly over to the content length is the, if the content length is the same i'll decide that those are shit and go for the ones that are anomalies so in this case i would go for sort by content length and we're interested to see which ones have massive amount of data in them because obviously it's a 400 error but it contains a lot of shit and maybe that's a hint of something that we want to dig deeper in, deep, dig deeper into, into because there's an error that says uh, this is uh, access denied. I don't care about that. But yeah. if there's a 400 error or, or a 403 error or something with a lot of data in it, there might just be a JavaScript file pointing somewhere that could be interesting for me. So let's see what this looks like. This is a, let's see what this one looks like. Well, I'm going to add something though. The one thing that I would say um, I would do that when you when you when you extract for four oh fours, at least for me, is yeah. if you don't look at the some of the four oh fours, you're gonna miss out on the APIs that are gonna come up. Yep. Uh, so what I would usually do for my case is now that we have taken out the four oh four, you can see a lot of them are coming out as text HTML. I would look for those that are four oh four, but also there are not content type JSON in case you want to look for APIs. So that's something to keep in mind. But that is a very I've, that's a very cool approach because I never thought about like I mean, this one is not a good one because it's a CentOS page. But I never thought about approaching it from a hey four or three because there's an application that it's loading. God damn, I hate these things. But it's an application that the balloon. Sorry, it's an application that's going to throw in an error because you're not allowed. That's going to hopefully give you. Um, you know, some JavaScript files. So let's see if we can find any of these in this case. So these are all 400s and 503s. Let's see what else comes up. Yes. Uh, I'm going to look at the chat. Are there, any, wants... are there any 500s, 503s, meh? But 500s are good. That means servers can't handle shit. So I'm going to just remove the title as um, it... we've got, what does it say? We've got some, we've got some trouble. I don't want it to look like that. I'm going to remove this. Uh, I don't know what this Personio internal Personio internal is, but there we go. Okay, that is a little bit better. This is also really weird. Staging at Zomon's. I don't know what this is. So this is what it looks like. If we do content length based on the biggest ones. Uh, so Ryan switch, asks, uh, can you filter in triggers and not just the status code, but also the server response header tokens? Yes. Maybe so if you have a content. So I could go pretty much like anything in the header. I could say, hey, if something in the header isn't, you know, not include this. So I could say exclude yeah. this keyword from the header itself as well. The way I've been filtering through some of the 
um, like Cloudflare uh, false positive uh, ports is by just, oh my God, I hate this balloons today. Uh, it's by just excluding the title of the um, the site, if that makes sense. So the title says something specific. We don't include it, but it looks like also we're getting flagged as bot. Let's see what these are. It says bot or not. Oh, so it's because Sweet. of the, we're because of our, <laughs> so it looks like because of the trickest um user agent they're getting tagged yeah. as bottom but 429 so remove 429 we don't want to see any rate limiting and five and goes too so we don't want um, that and so sam asked Stuck, how do you splunk because i've been recently been um been playing around with really really huge data set that's going to be a part of the presentation that i do and i realized that i love gripping like the other guy but uh, the reason why i love using splunk is that you can nest different requests you will have this like like we have now like the status code yeah. but then you can have okay but i also don't want to have all these things coming in so i use that to granularly break down because for me approaching a data set is all about breaking it down just like you will do any kind of marketing funnel anything you do you need to funnel down eventually to find the nugget or hey i'm i've been re-watching um, <laughs> um gold rush on, on discovery that's the same thing you have shit loads of mud that needs to go into the sluice and eventually you'll have this tiny little nugget and that's the one that you need to focus on it's the same thing so you just need to funnel down all the time uh, so looks like this would be something like an app that you were saying it says missing missing authorization yeah, yeah, yeah. this is interesting but it says log out too right yes and uh, could you and th this is one of those beautiful chances to be a, a match and replace target because um if you have i don't know if you listen to uh um brian radio show lately they had an episode on on match and replace and this is the kind of thing that potentially would allow you to oh, you see here here's more data um yeah. eventually it would give you the chance to if you match replace stuff you can say um like uh, match and replace logged out to log in whatever and you can just go through the javascript and, and yeah. maybe you will get access to this kind of website out of nowhere and it's very so very interesting i'm going to just explain the explain the match and replace there's a couple of things you can do with match and replace for people that are watching and not curious about it with match and replace what you can do is you can look at what data the site is requesting so let's say um you you load this page it hits an api at an api slash me and api slash me looks for your user role so if your user role is um user it's going to show you certain stuff on the ui versus if you put it for admin it may show you more stuff on the admin itself same thing if you flip i usually flip like false to true sometimes so you know they look for is this value true on your user id if it is true they show you more stuff than uh if you do false right so this is what stoke is talking about the true you know the the, the match and replace it does however unfortunately require you to have access to the the code for this website so like the back not the back end yeah. but the javascript for this website so you can go hey javascript what are some of the functionalities on this website that i could see or you can look at the network tab when you load the page and see okay it is reaching out to this other api you know the response is showing you know whatever it is and i can change that unfortunately that's not the case here so we can't do that here but this is a really good place to i know when you go scroll to log out right here um it yep. brings you to internet. This is the URL for can you share it. So your this screen again? Can, can oh we my see God. this yeah, screen? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, so when you do this with it, uh, if you scroll right here, you spend you spend a little bit bit of a, attention to the small detail here. The URL under here goes yes. to internet logout mode logout local uh, de. So this is a good place to kind of go to FF and do some fuzzing and see if yes. uh, some data comes up. Uh, that means that you're allowed to poke at this site, though. Uh, I have no idea yes. if we're allowed to use this or poke at this at all. This is in scope on the Daimler um, website. I think when we did our five-week program, a lot of people were hacking on this domain. The other thing that you can do here uh, is looking at Google Dorking. I'm just going to kind of throw some ideas for that. I want to look for bugs. That's one idea. The other one is I'm going to log in really quickly to my box. Uh, one of the things that you can do is also you can go to web, you know, web archives and kind of see if... Uh, the internet archives of anything on this website kind of what we were talking yeah. about with uh Ryan definitely one of those things that i do you know um if I, if i find like this like um, this is a we will define this as a as a meaty arrow page 
<laughs> because yeah. it's loading JavaScript, obviously. So there's a big chance that we can find something else. And uh, inside those, hey, maybe there's another URL that's that's being in there and lurking. And those, hey, if you go and do a, if you go to Wayback URLs and you look for uh, extension files, I always look through the JavaScript files and try to compare them. If 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 it's a target that I don't have like access to. Uh, I normally wouldn't spend too much time on this unless yeah. I knew it was something that I really needed to breach. Uh, this would just be, I, I would pass it on. Okay, let's go to the next one. Sorry, I was looking up, I'm trying to make sure this gets disabled now. Oh yeah, it's disabled, thank you, Reza. I know Reza's in the chat telling me to click the, how to disable it. Every time I try to make a point, it's like balloons in my face. <laughs> so, all right, so this was a good one. It's a, it's a, it's a, we're getting warmer at least with these, right? Um, yeah, yeah. Let's see what else. It's elastic. Uh, let's just see what this one comes up with while we load it. Anything here stands to you? This portal, maybe? It says Mandex portal. If it's a test portal, we can look at it. So this is this goes to a confluence, which yeah. is good and bad. Uh, I don't look at a lot of confluence stuff, but usually uh, if you can hit a dashboard, uh, the routes for it, it's a very good place to find some bones because sometimes it disclose stuff if it's not fully uh, configured properly. So they've misconfigured data to be shown uh, to users that are unauthenticated. So this is another example of what you were talking about. There's a 403 permission yes. denied. Um, what do we do? We look at JavaScript. Yep. Do this. Uh, I'm going to do this first. It. Let's see what comes up here. Can we, so, can we, can we do the, the Nahomsek special to look in, the, in inside <laughs> the image folder? There is no, there's no JavaScript file here. Let's see if what, what we find here in the source itself. Um, the images are all data, so there's no like oh. actual folders or anything like that. Yeah, so that's another bummer of uh, a boring refining. website. It is a very boring website. Let's see if we can. There's there's more data. Um, let's see what comes up. Uh, I want to go to the next page, maybe. Yep. Yeah, I got a cat that's old that's and saying. can't hear shit, so he's doing sonar style. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So say either you have a baby at your house or you got a cat. No, he's got he's a twenty year old cat. He's old. <laughs> he can't hear shit though. So you need to like stomp the floor and then he's like Wham! gets out. <laughs> all right, let me do this again. So I took out all the other ones. That's only four or three now. So there's no more four or anything other than four or three. It's gonna give it one sec. Uh come on. There's so much data here. It's ridiculous, dude. I just want to say thank you to everyone that's writing really nice comments inside the uh, the, the comment chat. It's It warms my heart to see that, that I'm uh, appreciated to be back here talking about random stuff. And, and I mean, I've been watching from the sidelines and uh, it's been evolving lately with uh, all these things that go on and the hacking space is getting fairly automated, but man i would i would challenge end, that though in, man in the it's end. not getting all it's not all getting automated you still have your your, your, no, no, your no, no. Core it, it's just you can just choose sides i love that yep. i mean you can combine Actually, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Both. I, yep. there's there's so many when it comes to bug bounties there's this fear factor of uh yeah but everybody else has looked at this uh everybody else knows more than me yeah but have you looked at it the classic yeah. one no and because we all have different approaches, right? We have different skill set. We have different interests. So for me, it's all about getting in there, but you have to do the work. It's like we talked about this before. How do you become a good photographer? By watching 4,000 hours of people taking photos on YouTube or actually picking up a good camera and taking pictures. I mean, that's kind of the thing that you need to do. You need to hack on a daily basis, uh, more or less. You, not so you burn out. Do it for the fun of it. For the curiosity yeah. for for the fire <laughs> and and that is amazing and, and just looking at these data set four or threes we have those are those can also contain more data can you sort by um, i think these ones are all blanket like hell 10 pages because if you go to them it redirects and some don't even oh, load boy. anymore yeah, so, yeah. unless my Probably internet died sevens. No, it's a lot of them are sort by the files so these you can hit them and I think they're just random files. I can also exclude this. Let's do one more of these. I want to ask you a couple more questions. Uh, let's do title is not going to be Hilton page. Let's do that too. Please do not bring me to the Hilton. Now what do I do? No, it's an invalid to inquiry. You can't pass it. 
Oh yeah, uh, no hotel for you. <laughs> Let me try this again. Let's see. What did I do? Oh, I didn't do an and. There we go. That's why. Matthias says yeah, and missing. missing. Yeah. I'm gonna sort this again. Mm. Noob, you I don't know, know my, the trick. It's uh, you, you, inside you, you out. Think you don't know you all think the cans. My first and, time, uh, huh? All the cans and trickest. Oh <laughs> okay, so you, your favorite thing is looking for these apps that have JavaScript files. I think we're gonna be struggling to find one of these. We're gonna try a couple more here. If that doesn't work, no, 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 go, go for the one with really long content length. Content length is king. If if there's like HTTP server test, oh, we've already seen. This is oh, the one we looked at. It's the CentOS. Okay, okay, yeah, that's CentOS bridge. But if we have those that are like huge, or then we, but now we're going to do the opposite. We we do we do anomalies, right? We go for really fast fat ones, and then we go for very not fat ones. So, so you're on the opposite after this. Okay, let's do one more page it. to see what's. Let's see what else comes up on the next page. If nothing interesting comes up, we'll flip it the other way. Yeah. Okay, so next page is all Mendex. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're on a logo. Let's see Ooh. what this is. I see logo. Oh, it's Amazon.com too, though. That's an interesting one, though. Audible auth. No JavaScript. Today is no JavaScript for you, uh, Stoke. There is I'm one, but I think it's a client side one. There's not much here. Yeah. It's for the 404 page. It looks like the, the bug bounty gods or JavaScript. So it's Audible. Okay, we're going to get rid of Nightbot. Everyone that's getting yelled at by Nightbot, I'm very sorry. Nightbot is wild well tonight. Okay, there's not much with this. Okay, so we're going to do the opposite, you said, right? You said flip it to the ones that have the least amount of data, right? Yes. So let's I do that. I'm going to go to the first page. I think. Thumbs up. Okay, I got the thumbs up too. Yeah, I turned okay, mine off, so it doesn't do it anymore. Close of thumbs up. Okay, so we're going to flip this up now. <laughs> Hey Java, how you doing? Okay, so this is what we have here. Yes. Uh, these are all no, the no, ones. Obviously, that... we won't, we won't look for the ones that are like the ones that are the same. That's okay. So we scroll through everything that looks the same, and then we look for the anomalies. This is all about finding the anomalies, like the weird ones that stick out that hurts your eye. Like this is okay. This, this is all forbidden. Important. All forbidden. Let's see what else comes so up. So if you go Pinterest. a little bit to the right, scroll to the right, so we can see the sizes. This is, I think, the oh, let's move this uh, content length over here. There we go, much better. Now we can see it. So one of three, one of the one eighteen seems to be a very common size, right? Oh, so, for Venmo, uh, especially, yeah. So eighteen, scroll down. Let's see what we have. Look for the anomalies here. One eighteen. So you're looking to see if one. Venmo is going to come back and like one of them is like two hundred or something, right? Or like you know one eight, one oh eight or something. Okay, let's see. Oh, here's anomalies. Check that one. Yeah, 15 yeah. something something. Just a moment. Do these are all Cloudflare. I think these are going to be all... Um, oh, crap. Behind. Oh, no, no. Okay, we're okay. We're good. I think this one's going to be fake, though, because 20... Yeah, this is going to go... Oh, it goes to Okta. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So if we do this... It, oh, where did it go? What was it? Coding Rasse, what we're doing is that we are looking at a huge data set over at Trickist, sorting things out, and kind of giving pointers on where you would start looking into a huge data set, like, data set like this. What would trigger spider senses? What would, what kind of, uh, because this, all this requires experience. You, this is based around hunches. Uh, most of hacking is actually based around hunches combined with experience and data. So we will start somewhere and if we see something that we recognize, that you should be, we go down that path and we are all different. Uh, and this is my approach. I like to look at content length. I like to find anomalies. So do you always look at the 403s? What about my, if, my, if, my question? If I'm doing Splunk, for instance, I would yeah. filter out anything or any kind of gripping. I would filter out anything that has the same amount of data. So if yeah. I had like, 296 counts here. I would say anything that has the duplicate amount of content length, throw those away and find yeah. the ones that stick out because that's kind of where I sit. I look down to the ones that are rare 
because rare ones don't have the same error code. They don't have the same CDN. They don't have the same error. So in that way, when I've done that, if I'm using like a, a fussing kind of thing, then I'll yeah. throw some kind of character in there. Some kind of like a null boy or a, or something that would eventually either say, make the server go, ooh, that hurts. Or in, in another way, just accept it. Because the, the ones that break, you know, if you're, if you're throwing something in there and it breaks, that means that you're onto something. And if you're really good, if you're lucky, you will get like uh, these envoys, uh, envoy things coming through and you can find some data on internal IP addresses. And that's perfect in the next stage. If you got an SSRF or something, you want to poke it in, in a second layer kind of SSRF, then you want to kind of get a head up on what kind of stuff they have on the internal network. Do you and, ever look at um, outside of 403, do you look at redirects at all? Like something that's redirecting you to somewhere else. It's a good idea. I never thought about it. I always thought that a 403, I, in this case, this would not honor redirects, right? So if yes, you click it, then right. eventually it would follow through. Yeah, so this is purely, so, the reason why I asked that is uh, we're looking at this right now and I'm, I'm not seeing any decent data that we can look at for okay. apps. We're getting then can, could we, we uh, are these just, these just, um, can we, can we instead look at all the 302s or 307? Yeah, absolutely. Anything that because, goes through and see the refer, where they want to throw us. So let's see if response or as a status code is equal to or greater than to 300 and status code is less than 400. So it's all the In 300s. In case it wouldn't be easier to screenshot all the URLs than filter them by similarity and look for unique screenshot for interesting one. Yeah, but we're using this tool now. So uh, this is just one way to do it. And normally I like to use, I like to grip through huge data sets. And because I'm not really interested in looking at screenshots, my brain just gets bored after a while. Yeah, uh, the, and the reason why we're not doing, step. the reason why I don't want to do it on the stream is also it takes a while for the data to come back. Like with screenshots, it takes a while for it to come back. So you don't know, yeah. you know, we're going to be sitting here just talking until it comes out. This is an example of the other ones I want to show you. So you can see it's redirecting from like this Marriott right here, prod something. It's going to redirect it to Oh, can, can we see the redirect? Beautiful. Yeah. So okay, it's now going to we're interested so we in do... seeing, uh, now we sort on all redirects and we're going to be interested to see if we can find something that redirects to something that in, would in theory be like an internal uh, site or something that would be like a domain that wouldn't be real or or something yeah. similar because sometimes when you get go from HTTP or HTTPS or or the other way back again it's going to forward you to certain things that opens up the possibility for v hosting uh, because yeah I love you too so this is what the chain of the yes, redirect looks cat. like so um, it goes from this location and uh, let me see location. That's it. It ends on this 403, but it does do and on this site. It looks like the chain is. Let's see. This is what is. It? Oh my god. So this one is the one we want to look at. It looks like it goes to this. So we, it goes to Oracle Cloud too. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, which goes back and, to and the one that wants to yeah. to guess the movie that goes on in the background. If you get it right, you will get a. Sure. So the thing, so the cool thing about this is, if you go to their at uh, k homepage, welcome, it sends you to this ext extranet cloud Marriott.com, right? Yep. But if you give it an invalid path, or if maybe you could do something like this, uh, wait, no, it worked earlier. There we go. If you give it an invalid path, it doesn't fully redirect you, so you can't actually fuzz these. If you know the, if you find some content here, for example, if I send this to maybe, uh, let's do this. You can do a way back URL. Oh, get all URL. Actually, let's do that. Get all URLs. So if it comes back with some pads, we can actually try some of these. Well, maybe not the CGI. So it's kind of old. We want something with faces in it. So maybe we can do something like grab faces because this has faces in it. But I'm also trying to show like you know, the lead generation things based on you know our data. This has a faces folder in there, so we can look and see if any paths come back and see if maybe something like in, I don't know, file name extension comes back and we can hit it. So maybe this one. 
And now, if that loads, someone can go report it. It doesn't. So that's one of the things that I recommend doing. And when you see, a lot of times I see a lot of hackers get scared of these login pages. Trying to see if you can find content that could give you access to. Obviously, this the deep link is coming around. This one is not going to, you know, this is the default page we're looking at. But maybe this one is this something. Yeah, and, 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 I mean, the same goes for this. You will see this here. And you see all these logging things. It says, forget your EID. Hmm, what's that? Need a password help. Use the security key. All these things open up different angles for you to approach this uh, this this surface. Once again, you will probably end up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they let you like sign up. They say, "Hey, if you want to become a partner, sign up, and we may approve you." And you know, who knows? You may get lucky, and it may actually approve you. Yeah. Uh, someone and, asked if this data set bug bounty is password yes. resets with uh, uh, a valid. You can use try like, like for instance, <laughs> if you're trying to sign into a, let's say you're trying to sign into a Slack instance, whatever. And then those are usually bound to like a domain name, right? No. They they you're allowed to use. But what happens if you do um, add an extra at and then you add your domain in there, and, and that will be oh. your like collaborator kind of instance? Sometimes they they mess it up and. And that could that could be your ticket. Maybe you'll get the reset to your end that way, and and you will not be able to log in, but you will get more information about how they are, how they have this reset functionality uh, set up. Oh, damnder again. So same thing here. So I'm going to look at this. Oh, okay, it's not going to work. Got it. Let's look at the source of this one. So this is a this is one that you know if you go to it. I want to open it up. It's gonna look at you and say, "Oh, you don't have a, you don't have a session." Actually, you can actually sign up, register right here if you wanted to. And yeah, you can register. You real there. What's happened when you play around with the org ID there? Could you do? Oh, it this one, yeah. It? So I mean, you can also see where this gets evaluated at. Um, yeah. right it's a here. number. It's an integ. Let's see if we can change the number up and down. Oh yeah. We change the. So that's another one that you can, so you're looking to see if you can register for another organization. It actually does work. Mm -hmm. So you can take this, if you go to register, you can change this hopefully and, ah, oh, maybe not. So if you change it right here, it gives you an error. I think one of the things that you can do here, obviously, is also brute force with this value. Yeah, but this is good. This is good. Now we're getting server errors. This is beautiful. These are our, the 500 that we're looking for. What happens if you put a minus instead in, in the org? I mean, can you count backwards? The, these are the things that you want to make it feel sad. <laughs> because when, when computers feel sad, you'll get a more verbose uh, response coming back in, um, in, when, when you're looking at the data. Yeah, because a valid, um, a valid example of this is this page, right? So if you, yep. one of the things that you were saying earlier was if you look at the response size for this, yep. you can, uh, if you look at it on your burp sheet, for example, Yep. that uh you can also run intruder here from you know nine zero zero or like nine so the, the original number is nine one five seven so this six could become a zero and you can go all the way from this to six zero two five and see if you can find any other valid orgs that could potentially put you in uh, a different organization when you sign up right ryan uh, just put put some stuff in there uh in the chat he says that uh, the error the for the error. damage shows they're running on port port 8100 and that is oh, very interesting because go. if, you, if you're using that it gives us a possibility to i mean in this case you try to find it and now if you play around with the idea that you're having a proxy and you're able to use another port so you will have this external port and this is probably ryan's more kind of playground but if you have a cdn in front of it and you have another host name and another port sometimes you can bypass that and be host enumeration is a thing we are sharing the same kind of things running on different hosts it's very interesting i don't know what i just hit know. but i just hit something uh, I don't know how we got okay, here, but we got here somehow. So this is, let me see if it, okay, so this is uh, where you go here. Wow, this is a different portal now. Mm -hmm. And it looks a lot older. Oh, okay, we actually have access to some stuff. Nice, nice. Let's see. I don't know if those are supposed to be public or not. It looks like those are supposed to be public, actually. Uh, let me just do translate because I don't understand what's happening here. Oh, it okay, is so this is German. So you can also register um for this page it looks like free. it's 
Yeah, it looks like it's a different page though. I mean, could, this, this could also be an older version of this site too. And so if you change it here. This is, uh, is this 2024. Who knows the head of there? Let's see. Let's see if we can find something here. Username. Let's see. And, and that, if we were, let's say that we were collecting all this data in a proxy, what we would do now is probably to go back and see, okay, what kind of other stuff do we have here that we're kind of, how does the, the path or the tree look inside this website? What are the things that eventually could seem like we find something that we're not supposed to ex be able to access? Like I, like I said, shared JavaScript files, whatever. And if you're able to say that you're changing a user from, uh, in this guy, let's say this uh, HI controlling thing, and it would be, I don't know, some kind of class would be a user that would be a, an I don't know, administrator maybe, but, but I'm not meaning in the way that it's an admin, but more like it's somebody that does uh, like finance stuff, Econ economic person. Those roles exist in there. And if you're able to match and replace certain things, then other portals just might just show up. So it's a, it's one of those things that um, I usually add a shitload of, of, um, of those things to be able to see, am I able to get more data coming through uh, that would give me a hint on Maybe another portal like this, and it's suddenly you're like, how the fuck did I end up here? Then so one of the things I would recommend for this is it, this looks, looks looks very interesting, at least for me, is play around with this. There's two web, different websites here. It looks like each of them have different functionality. This one looks very very old. Uh, it looks like it's it going to evaluate core login, and uh, it looks entirely different than the other one. So I would recommend seeing if you can. Uh, sign up here and getting your own account. So it looks like, let's click here. And I think there's, okay. I don't want to play around with this a little too much on stream, but this is interesting to know that it's going to a completely different website. And this is probably the back end they use for this uh, academy anyways. Uh, and people that were watching, uh, I was doing some tra path traversals, hoping that uh, maybe there was some routing happening in the back end where I could abuse and get out of this maybe to a different app or maybe i could see the back end of us if it's like a job app or something like that but this because it's a two no two no two dot com and it's not and no longer daimler i'm gonna just let it go and not really mess too much with it so but that is a i wanted to kind of show you know as as uh stoke is narrating i can show you guys what i'm doing and working on as well all right back to this what are we looking at let's see uh um... We got redirects and we want to look at redirects that go to sites that uh, either are so these sending ones. it to internal port. You can see there's port 443 or something there. That's always interesting because those this are probably. This goes to API portal. Let's see what this is. It, it redirects you to an API portal and you can actually sign up for this one, it looks like. Let's see, just to translate, let's see what this site is. No transition available. All right. This is like a regular. There's one that says corporate. I don't know if you saw that uh, right here. It says yep. Adobe. And it looks like it goes to another site. So this looks like it does something. Uh, I mean, let's do uh, uh -huh. no. so it. directs you at all times, but doesn't mean that I wouldn't brute force for this. Well, another thing you can do again, as always, uh, passively just look at get all URL. See what that, oh, right wrong page there we go let's do it like this and see what comes on but it looks like it redirects you there's way too many redirects and we can we can actually follow the channel redirects with this to see where it sends you mm. so it sends it's, yeah it's just looping through redirects after redirects it's just continuously going from what it's bouncing around from this to this so let's, let's go, go let's go through the data again and, and see what we had in um what kind of, because we're able to filter out like you can see here yeah. uh it says prod is a cancer research campaign adobe.com this which one are you looking at this one cancer research oh this one yeah this could also be that uh it's just a random like wild card that serves the same content too right mm. yeah it's just kind of like too many redirects because it's all let's see what the redirects look like really quick though so it's redirecting to yeah, it's just in a, we're in a constant loop with redirects but again if you're looking at this and you want to mess with it I would look at uh, doing some fuzzing in that web route right here to see if you find any additional content. Is there any specific paths you look for 
Stoke. So can we do something like and the end URL or ending URL? What is it called? Uh, let me see. Final URL contains a specific keyword. Would that be something of interest? Uh, I normally don't do it that way. And because when I go through this data, either I kind of know what I'm looking for yeah. or, or um, in this case, obviously login pages would be fun, but I usually don't approach it that way. It's, uh, I probably already have a hunch of what I'm looking for when I'm at that yeah. stage to look at a certain folder. Um, I wouldn't normally just sit and approach a huge data set like this and just go through all the data and then hopefully, you know, dig into it. I would, I would probably just uh, look for, I don't know, may, maybe, I don't know. Recently, I've been liking to dig into JavaScript files, so maybe it's like yeah. a static slash something to be able to see if there's a, or if it contains like a JavaScript file, or if it contains a um, dot um, uh, Let's see. dot XML or something. I mean, I think that would be cool. So nothing was. There's a redirect here. There's a lot of yeah. redirects. So like this one, if you go to it, it redirects to. Just sign it like this. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, um, okay, so let's say outside of JavaScript files, are there any? I know you said you said you like you know breaking into JavaScript files and kind of digging them apart and looking for functionality and things like that. Yeah. Um, do you have any? Do you look for any internal apps ever? I do look for internal apps when it comes to the stage where I know the app enough. Uh, yeah. Let's say that. Let's say that you're digging into an application where you have the possibilities to run any kind of like jobs. I'm very interested to know internal names. Let's say, let's say that you're spinning up a container, that you're doing all these kind of automation jobs to perform some certain tasks for you. Then I will spend a lot of time trying to figure out if there's any internal addresses, uh, how long does it take, because those are super blind blind. Anything that's super blind blind is what I'm usually going for, because if it takes time to load, it's either wrong or you're doing something real good. So yeah. it, it's those kind of situations I would normally just dig into, try to understand how the app works. I spend way more time time, like I said, falling in love with an application, then thinking about ways that, okay, if I was building this, what would I do? And then I would approach it in a way, like, how can I break the mindset of, of the developer? What things could they have missed? Or what, what are the things that they didn't think about? And then I usually find uh, my issues in there. So spray and pray is something that i used to do but it yeah. never really paid off not not the same way that i i get i get more money by investing more time in the targets and learning how they work uh, and then just attacking it randomly but if, if it was something that i would dig into like this this is a random data set i would probably go for I don't. I, I don't know. I, okay, I, would, I got. I have an idea. This is super. This is super useful if we have something that we really want to dig into. Like if you if you look if you look for uh, final URL somewhere, it should contain parser. See if anything Let's do this. contains parser. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna do this. And I have a I have a cool idea. We have a good like 30, 40 minutes. Let's. I think I we can. No, there's nothing 30, with parser. Minutes? Crap. No, well, I mean, I'm you. Gonna... I, I'm gonna be on for another 30, 40 minutes. Um. I want to do one more thing. I want to. Do, I, have, I have a cool idea we could do with this. This is something that we haven't done on the stream just yet. I've, we've done it. We used to do it in the past. First, before I do that, I got to do a shameless plug. If you're watching this on YouTube, please, I need you to go right here and click this, uh, so we can reach more of our audience. There is uh, a metric ton of you guys watching this. I think there's like three, four hundred people that be watching on YouTube. Wow. Um, click this. Help us out. Get this video out a little bit more viewed. But with that said, if you guys do that and we get to a good number. Before you do it, we're going to open it up to you guys, chat. We're going to ask you to give us something um, to look for on this data set. So give us, give us keywords of things we could find, whether it's in the URL itself. So we're going to look for data that uh, 
is maybe 200, 300. Um, let's do and 300. And then you guys give us the keywords you want us to look for. How does that sound, chat? What do you think, Hope? Sounds good. So, oh, Stoke, sorry. And also, if somebody wants to figure out what kind of movie I'm playing in the background, it was produced in the year 1987. <laughs> So, 1987, 1987, 1987, and Danny Glover is in it. Uh, let's see. We'll do less than 44, 404. Okay, so this is going to be all of them pretty much. But, okay, so now, Chad, give us your keywords. What should we look for? Uh, authentication status. Oh, okay. 401 authentication. Let's try that. Status code. Well, we do title, Why right? So title is 401, 401 authorization. Auth. Let's see what that looks like. This is right here. It's searching. It's searching. What else are we looking for, chat? So it looks like a lot of these are uh, authorization issues, which Depend on your approach. What would you do with 401s if you ever saw them stuck? Is there anything that you would try? If I have 401s that doesn't give me, uh, I would I would try to, depending on what I'm doing, to, to see if I'm able to throw in like a basic uh, uh, basic auth in there. Yeah. To see if it, if it honors that, like username at something something and see if that works. Um, Let's try to this. give it accepts basic auth because then you can most likely like brute force it. So yeah, you're looking at like easy passwords, like, like admin password or admin like what is this? Um, admin 2024, for example, right? And see if it works yeah. with a list. Okay. So the 401s are an interesting one. I always recommend people to still do a uh, do one of these, like just throw it in there and see if it finds content. That's my always go to while you check for passwords and things like that. You have that um, sort by size again. This is another one. Look at the content. Oh, yeah, let's do that. That's a great idea. So you ha you have the this. same thing. You look at the anomalies. Okay, let's Which see what this comes to stand out? Sort them and then just try to find where rare ones. I like ones. that. So this is the largest one. So this is API uh, for a main site. Let's just see what it looks like really quick. Still the same thing. Which is weird because the, the content link for that and this are same it should be the same right it's redirecting you can see it takes a little bit of time yeah uh, let's see i think it's just also depending on the host name maybe larger is the smallest content length those yes. are the ones we're looking for we want to see the rare ones because sometimes when those happen you will see that it adds a little bit of some extra stuff in there you'll see like maybe it's, uh, requesting a javascript file now there again these evil javascript stuff but that that's the thing that i would go for okay let's see what else chat has to hear what would you guys look for if you want to look for it in the oh URL? matthew has a good one upload oh and the url let's see url yeah. is upload okay i like that let's see There is quite uh, some of them that are coming up. Elastic has some. Venmo has some. Let's do what Stoke wanted us to do earlier. Let's do this. Uh -huh. Let's see what all comes up. This does look interesting, though. Elastic comes out. It's a 404. It's an Nginx 404. So, world's the name payment. This is what? Betmax. Okay. So, this is a dev site, too. So, let's see what this mm -hmm. looks like. Can I load this? This is unsafe. No, nope. there, there we go. Oh, it's just oh, it goes to it goes back to the old side. It looks like so. If you get it, it redirects you. Mm -hmm. Uh, somebody wants to do old, so dot old. Let's see. No, they don't. I wish they they did response body. That would have been a really good one. That would have done a lot of good stuff with it. Um, let's see. So this is that URL. I thought old, sorry, that's this is that old. But I feel like that old would be a hard one to look for stuff because it's big enough golden and things like that. I'm gonna go back really quick. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I look for, maybe. So location header is a really, really interesting one for a lot of people that are watching this. Also, I don't know if it interests you a little bit, Stoke. But like Explain with headers, to me why it should be interesting. 
um i showed this in my video i love looking for like documentation swagger is like the most like basic example that most people understand when you talk to them about it is yeah if you look at the the uh the headers uh let's see where is it let me see if i can find one you see how it says swagger.io a lot of times some of these mean they are um swagger documentation sometimes it may not be swagger documentation you can also get like more um detailed with this and say maybe like location has swagger in it let's see if this one works maybe what i'm looking for is essentially saying hey do you see the word swagger ui because like, swagger ui usually is you know the how oh, does that work i'm looking for something that says in the header is there anywhere that the word swagger is mentioned that could give me documentation because when you're approaching a i love hacking apis a lot of times um if you're looking for apis and you just blankly sending data to that you're not gonna get any documentation out right so we're looking for something like swagger or swagger.html let me see it will give you that data already and it also gives you word list for things to look for a lot of people don't look for stuff like that uh this is a the hill that i'm willing to die on i feel like which is looking for swagger files because it's so much cool stuff that you can um look for when you have swagger uh, same thing like if you have a have... soap or a vdsl or something similar to that if you're into the xml kind of life uh that's great too so I mean, maybe we can do a, let me see, maybe a final URL goes to Swagger if it's the, if the location that it doesn't look. So it looks like some of these right here, look. So you have your Swagger UI. You can look for like API docs even. So let's try this one. Let's see what that one comes up with. This is my way of like doing a lot of lead gen stuff. It's just looking for things that look really interesting. But you can see like, look, API docs. And it brings you. Beautiful. There we go. The this is Swagger. Function. So there's a couple of things like obviously you know you can probably look for like um open api see if anything comes up like that uh application.waddle is a really good one if it redirects to it but this is something that people a lot of people don't think about looking at the um the final url or like the location header too let's see what else is on here xml and headers okay let's see i don't think it would get get anything with xml and headers but let's try it in one of the videos that we did uh just monday we demoed on this it was a very long query but you can actually look for open sp buckets if you know how to fingerprint for an sp bucket huh. um i'm only not on here because i don't know what data is going to come up on those sp buckets but you can also do that as well uh someone wants to do open json dot into the open json dot we'll do the last one and then uh i'm gonna let you go. I'm just going to let your time, and then we're going to continue this in just a bit. So this one's also doing it. Look, so it's going to Swagger, and it's loading Open JSON. Uh, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, this one works. There we go. Perfect. And this is some like Expedia site. So if you act on the Expedia bug bounty program, this is one. Okay, I know it's going to late your time, dude. I know you're in Europe. It is. I want to be mindful of yours. So we're going to continue this with chat. But any any last words? What can we look forward to? If people that are watching this, they want to follow you. Twitter.com slash Stoke Frederick. Same thing on YouTube, but Mike's yours. I have, I have no real idea. I mean, I'm I'm hoping to do more of this stuff. This is fun. I'm um and um and you can look forward to uh seeing cool stuff coming out of uh of black hat that's definitely going to be fun i'm going to be at defcon this year so if you want to be there and meet up hey let's have fun and um and never be a stranger it's also going to be uh i'm going to take a while off uh just to recoup and figure things out but i'm i'll, I'll be around <laughs> i don't know what to say i'm too tired um it's gonna be amazing. The future is <laughs> the future is ours. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, I'm I'm definitely gonna visit the the bug bounty village at DefCon and and lurk around there and you know hang around with people and uh, and definitely get more into uh, more publicly be more into hacking now where I'm not in a situation where I'm allowed to talk about stuff. So it's gonna be cool. Yeah. Um, other than that, um, I'm very excited to be here, and um, thank you for having me. And uh, good night, chat. <laughs> very cool, man. I'll talk to you later, and thank you for doing this again, man. I really appreciate it.
I'm um, I'm grateful to be here. Take care. See you, dude. See the balloons See work? No balloons. No balloons. Oh, there it is. All right. Okay. Chat, should we keep going? I'm going to leave it up to you guys to, to tell me if you want to keep going or not. Should we keep going, chat? Look at more uh, more of this data. You guys want to throw some more stuff at me to what to look at? Less? Yes. Okay. All right. What else are we looking at, chat? Do we look at maybe? Let's pick a target. Hmm. I have twenty minutes. Can we pick out a target really quick? All right, chat. Throw me a target. Let's go. Twenty minutes on the dot. We got twenty minutes. Hey Siri. Set a timer for 20 minutes. All right, chat. Throw those targets at me. We did Dell already, so nothing like Dell. FIS. Uh, Airbnb. No, I need wide. We, we got to go wide with this. FIS. It's Flying Eagle is just saying FIS. It's the only one participating in this. All right, let's get FIS Global. So let me just see how large this is, the data set for it is really quick. We did Dell, Dell already, chat. I don't know if Dell is going to be happening again. Okay, FIS it is. We have 20 minutes, chat, and we are just going to look at, uh, maybe I should start with like FIS like this. Let's see what comes up. Twitch is dead? No, it's not. You are not dead on Twitch. I can see myself on Twitch. Okay, so FIS sites, uh, they look like garbage here. Maybe we could do, is Pantheon one of them? Hmm. What are we looking for on FIS? Any redirects maybe, chat? And maybe um, status code is through. Let's, let's try what Stoke was teaching us. Let's see if we can find anything with like four or threes. If it equals to four or three, let's see what we find. Because he wanted, well, who is the message I got across from just having Stoke on the stream is looking for this like anomalies that happen with the data, especially with a four or three, four or one, or four or four. So let's see what we find. Uh, I'm going to put FIS Globe in here. Let's see what comes up with this one. And status quo. Maybe we could do greater than 400. Let's see what comes up with that. I don't think the final URL with dot log and dot any is going to do anything. I don't know where you're, what you're doing with that. So nothing comes back with FIS Global as status code greater than 400. Is it a joke? Let's see what comes up. Did I kill this data? Let me, let me just refresh. I think that's what it is. Uh, the data just died. Okay, let me log back in chat. We have 20 minutes. I want to also answer some of the stuff in the chat. Unfortunately, this is a live stream, so things may go wrong, and they always do go wrong. But throw me your questions. If I can't log in, then it sounds like it's going to be a trick as problem. Uh, I think I can log in. Okay. Tell me with three-day stream... Oh, I like that question. Can we have a three-day stream with other awesome hackers like John Hammond, Jason Haddix, and Pharaoh? Chat, who do you want to see um, in the next edition of the three-day stream that I do? Who would you guys want to see? I know he mentioned Jason Haddix and Pharaoh, and I don't know if John's going to want to do any of this, but we can ask him. Haddix uh, would be fun to get on this stream. Uh, Probably difficult. Tommy would be really, really fun. I wonder what Tommy would do with this data. Joel would be awesome too. I love Joel, yeah. Epsec doesn't do bug bounty. Or uh, you guys should go and, uh, hey, how about this, guys? Let's do, let's play a game. Uh, while this data reloads, uh, you should go onto Twitter right here 
and type in hey at godfather orwa when will you join nahamsek on his channel let's do that let's play that game chat there you go i threw the tweet in there but i'm looking at the chat i know a lot of you guys want to see z sean i would love to have sean but i think sean is uh currently dealing with some health issues he tweeted about it a while ago um that he, he, I think he was skating or something and he fell. But I sent you guys a tweet. You guys should go and uh, tweet that. Uh, tweet and also tag me if you tweet it. If you tweet out him, tag me in it. So also do this maybe. But Z Shana would be a good one. So grab that tweet right here, this one. Grab it, copy it in there, and then paste it and send it. And just send it on Twitter. Hussein would be really, really good. I love that. Okay, Hussein would be a really, really good one. Okay, I think I'm back in this data that we were looking at. Let me just try it out. I'm going to wait for you guys to tweet at me first before I bring the data up again for FIS. Then we'll look. I don't know if fans would join me, to be honest. I would love to have fans on here. I would never say no to having fans wasn't on here, but I don't know if that's his thing, really. If you so, I'm gonna retweet some of these too. So if you do it, look at this. Uh, make sure you tag me like this. Go on Twitter and just post this. I would love to have Orwell on here. It's just a matter of if he's gonna join us or not. I think Yusef would be really, really cool, but I don't know if recon is really his thing. You know. I'm honestly not sure if Recon is this thing. All right, let's see. URL is FIS Global. Let's see if anything comes up. I don't know if they scan FIS Global because FIS Global, we, we grabbed every domain. Oh, look, at there's some stuff here. Yeah, it's not going to work because they didn't specifically scan for FIS Global chat. All right, I'm going to just show you guys some of the other stuff. I asked uh, Stoke about internal assets. We can look at something like maybe corporate or corp. So dot corp. Let's see what comes up with dot corp. Oh, let's see. I'm going to push this over here. Um, so this is one that I like to do a lot is looking for corp sites. You can look at like obviously .corp. Um, intra is a good one. It could be like intranet. So you can see all these are like MongoDB ones. Like this looks really interesting if you look at it. Let me see if I can make sure the stream looks good. There we go. So you can see this goes directly to Okta, but it loads. You guys see that? So this is kind of what like uh, Stoke was talking about is if you do view a source, obviously maybe this app is not, you know, going to be it. Oh, there's a JS file in here. And you can look for, so there's an API right here. So we can go dash API. Okay, nothing loads. Uh, let's see what else is on here. Maybe we can do a post. Anything that has a post maybe? I would feed this to something that could actually grab data from. Uh, so I don't I'll get all input. Let's see if this works. This is an older version of it. It doesn't really grab everything, but so it looks like there's a GraphQL maybe. Let's see. Can we hit a GraphQL on this? No. Um, these are all there. Login is in words and upload. So we got to just map these. I don't think these are all an inclusive list of them, but if you hit this, let's just follow the entire redirect. So it goes uh, silent. Does that work? So it redirects to, it doesn't redirect anymore. So it loads on here, but it's supposed to be redirecting us from one to another. Is there a different JavaScript file in here, maybe? A main dot or a main dash? Main dot index dash? It's the same one. Okay. Oh, it's not sharing my entire screen. Damn it. Why is it not sharing my entire screen? There we go. There you go, chat. So I was looking at um, what this site does. It looks interesting because it goes behind an octa. Right, if you hit it, 
you see it's it's gonna throw us to an octa obviously we don't have a mongodb email to log in um and i was looking at the js file for it if you look at the js file there's not much in there uh or at least at a first glance i'm not finding any paths that look interesting to me and it looks like there's a login and there's an evergreen so let's see what login does if you hit login same thing so if we go to evergreen they're all they're all redirected the same thing we smoke yeah Uh, we can also check like weird. I don't ever see this happening much, but yeah, same thing. Static. They're all redirect. But what I was trying to show you guys with this search was, if you do something with a intranet, for example, even though it's not in there, you see there's going to some internal stuff. So like hub.corp is probably gonna same thing. You can also do the view source. This is something that also Stoke was mentioning in the chat earlier. Uh, I don't see any JavaScript files for this, but if we give it a, it doesn't matter, I guess. So that's one. There is a couple other words uh, we can look for. Um, obviously, dev is a really good one. Uh, you can see there's a dev right here. Uh, there's more stuff on MongoDB. Let's see. They all want you to log in, huh? So a lot of these look like, let's do a curl and see what this does. I want to see what the entire like response looks like. So this one directly redirects you to login, and then login redirects you to Okta. But I wonder if we can see, is it all fonts? No, nothing really that interesting. Uh, the source URL is Okta Util is right there. Nothing of, we can also do like a grep maybe for this, maybe grep.js. Not a whole lot. So these are just internal. This is just me. If I had this data for myself, which I mean, I have access to this data, but if I was just looking at this data on my own and wondering like, hey, what would I go? Is uh, I would look for things like this a lot. Like I would look for internal, in internal, I would look for swagger. I would look for anything that could scream, hey, there may be a potential vulnerability here. Let's see what else we can check. So maybe we can do URL also includes maybe .dev. And maybe URL includes um, API, if I want to hack on APIs, right? Ooh, some T-Mobile assets. What's this one? Uh, some Binance assets. Let's see what else we find. Lots of Binance. Uh, IBM is in here. I wonder if I can find something that's supposed to be like corporate and uh, API. Let's see what comes up. Ooh, Snapchat. Let's see what this is. How do you deal with Swagger? What do you mean, how do you deal with Swagger? Swagger is just mostly documentation for the API. And I usually look for those uh, so I don't have to like blankly shoot data at the, um, the API itself. So this one has some stuff it looks like. So there's a v, uh, there's an API v1. This is still loading. You can we can actually sign up. This is scary. I don't know what this is. Infrastructure as code security. I wonder if we can sign up to this. I don't know what lace work is though. Lace work bug bounty. What is this? So they're on hacker one. It's a public program, it looks like. 18 reports received. Ooh, okay. Somebody should wait, is it a bug bounty program? Or the VDP? Oh, it's a VDP. I wonder. No one's really submitting to them. Not a bad place. Honestly, I would log in or create an account here. You can... Or you can probably log in at, on GitHub. Let's see. Mm, let's see if I can do this on my private screen. I think you guys should check this out on your own. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a good idea for me to do this on stream, but this is a really, really, really good one. Your first bug was uh, SC Corp uh, for Snapchat. Yeah, it's a good, it's a really good asset. So this one is also, it looks like it's like an Okta meets API thing. It goes to menu log. 
Mm, nothing. Okay. I don't want to the the latest work. Oh, so that is uh their own that panel is their product pretty much. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why that is coming up for for us to you know sign up for. Ooh, authorization tokens. What is this? This looks interesting. I don't know what this is, but I wonder if there's more data on it, maybe. Let's see what we find on this. We have a couple more minutes, chat. This probably authenticates you into something, right? So if you do, yeah, if you give it like the data for it, you can pick where you want to go and you put your client ID and it signs you in. Yeah. So this is like, yeah, but if we had a client credential for this, then I would understand. Okay. I also wonder if they're like the text is coming in HTML maybe. No. Okay. All right. What else, chat? What are we looking at? Let's see. Uh, a C Corp Grammarly AWS. This is their engineering stuff. Uh, missing token. Okay, let's keep going. A few more minutes. I think my timer. Uh, I have four minutes in the timer. All right, we got time. I'm gonna get rid of maybe like URL doesn't include AWS, Amazon and. UR also doesn't include SC Corp because we have the word Corp and I don't want to have one domain take over everything. Let's see what this comes up. What did I break? Oh, this way. Uh, this way. What I do, URL doesn't include, and uh, it's missing an and here. Did I break something? Oh, there we go. Okay, now it works. Looks like there is uh, something with Dell, but we can't see it. Let's see. Ooh. Project management login page. What is this? Line Corp? And it's a lot of uh, JSP stuff. This is interesting. Can we traverse it or not, maybe? I don't think that worked. Yeah, it didn't work. I would play with this a lot, actually, because there's one, there's an API behind it. Two, I like, you know, I think you guys have seen I like a lot of JS files. Uh, it also lets you pre-fill the username, so maybe we can do something like this. Nope. Um, let's see. Now, Hamza, do you also do buggy, buggy bounty? Oh, bug bounty on Android, iOS, just mostly web apps for me. Uh, I don't do them full time like I used to, so I I want to yeah I stick to the thing that I'm good at. I have I have a mobile setup on this machine, but it only comes in when I'm very very like either it's really required or I'm desperate. Okay, a couple more pages, and I think I'm going to call it good for this series chat, okay? I think this may be our last page, actually. That is the last page. Okay. I wanted to make sure I stayed live for at least a long amount of time for the last one. But with that said, chat, what do we think? Yay, nay to the streams? Should I do like CTS maybe at some point too? So it's a little bit web hacking and not always just me looking at data. What do you guys think? Great, yay, yeah, keep doing them. Uh, for show, sure. yeah, shout outs to you guys for you know, uh, hanging out throughout the stream. I gotta quickly give a couple of shout outs too, if you guys don't mind. I know a lot of you guys are resubscribing, so I really appreciate it. Uh, I am, thank you so much. I see a hype train, 
Oh, Scrunch, thank you for the 80 biddies that you threw, by the way. Uh, Tough Dog, Tommy Gun, thank you so much for you guys being uh, subscribers again. Uh, Bismuth, thank you so much for also subscribing to Twitch. I really appreciate it. Um, all right, I think that's it for me, Chad. I'm going on vacation for a while, so I'm probably not going to be around for a while. But what I do have to ask is, if you haven't already, please do me a favor. Uh, go to my channel right now and uh, please subscribe to this channel. It would mean the world to me. If you want to support the channel, you can become a member. It would help me with uh, keeping the channel going. Otherwise, that's all I want. There's not much that I want from you guys. Come on, Discord. We just announced. Listen, for Discord, if you didn't know, we have a uh, hacking channel on Discord where I announce a target and people hack together on there. So come to stream. Or not to stream. Come to Discord and hang out with everybody. Oh, timer's up. Uh, People that are hacking. I think this week's there's this month we have three different uh targets. So if you want to come and hang out, the mods will be there. I'm gonna periodically check uh check check for um all of the um I'm gonna keep looking for the chat to see what you guys are doing in there. But come hang out on Discord, Discord.gg slash Nahamsik. Come hang out there. Uh outside of that, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You guys rock. And hopefully we get to do more of these in the future. But until for now, it is vacation time for me. Peace. Okay, if you guys are still in the chat, take this guy's advice. For those of you that stayed, go and stream some stuff in the voice chat. And make sure you join Discord. I'm amazed that you guys are still here, even though the stream is supposed to be ending. So if you're still here, come to Discord. If you're watching the VOD, like and subscribe.